you know, remember that show, That's So Raven? I feel like somebody here joked, oh, are you That's So Raven? You know, like, some of you, you're per somebody here, they're a person joked at, oh, are you That's So Raven? You know, you think you know it all or something? I feel like there's a lot going on when it comes to your person. I feel like they're in their head a lot. Don't, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off the read, Cancer. Don't do it. Yeah, you're very intuitive. You know, like, what you need to do to build generational wealth, to leave a legacy behind for yourself, for, you know, your family, your kids. If you plan on having kids, like, you you know what you need to do. You're You're on a path. You're on a purpose. You have a plan. But what I see here with this person is that they kind of want to take things slow. They want to take things easy. Now, for some of you, like I said, this is someone that just wants to sit around, smoke weed all day, have SEX all day, play video games all day. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you, right? Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Starcy Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is their current feelings towards you. It is a general read, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. And if you wish to support the channel further, you can leave a super chat. It's the little heart icon underneath this video. And whatever you leave with me, I am truly grateful for. So the tarot decks that I'm using in this read, we will be using the Mermaid Tarot by Lisa Robertson. We will be using the Light Sears Tarot. And we may or may not use the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, Pocket Edition. So with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for cancer. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So we have Leo, we have Mercury, and we have the number two. It could be a life path number two, okay? You could be a Leo crosswasher, Leo... Virgo, Gemini, or a Pisces cross watcher, okay? Or the person that you're dealing with could be any of those signs. We could see the Sun card, the Strength card. We could also see the Magician, the Lovers, and the Hermits. We could also see the High Priestess and the Hangman, or even the Moon card. You could also be dealing with a Virgo, or you could be a Virgo cross watcher as well. The planets, we have the sun, which is not a planet, I know, it's a star, but bear with me, right? Then you have Mercury. With number two, you have Neptune. I feel like there's a lot going on when it comes to your person. I feel like they're in their head a lot. Okay, I'm going to be honest. So, let's see here what they are thinking currently towards my cancers what are they thinking currently their current feelings towards my cancers the high priestess and seven of pentacles well they see you as someone that they want to invest with i feel like i'm getting this message that this is someone that daydreams a lot but they don't really take much action in the 3d they're very much trying to manifest, though. They could be trying to manifest a new beginning between the two of you. A lot of cards on the... Well, I'm going to count this as reverse. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. The Empress... This came out on a side. Five of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles. The Hermit in reverse. The Magician. There was another card that came out on a side. I believe it was that one. 
and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. This is a very complex energy. It's very complicated, okay? There's a lot going on when it comes to this in the visual. I do see here that they're in this... It's like, okay, and some of the messages might be triggering. I'm just going to warn you guys right now. Some of this might be triggering, but I, I just have to say it. This individual feels like you want to invest with them and then you don't. They, it's like, they feel like you're giving them mixed signals. They're not exactly too sure what you're looking for. Sometimes they feel like you just want to be left alone and do your own thing. But then other times they feel like the Hermit in reverse and Page of Pentacles in reverse. Other times they feel like you're intentionally holding back. Don't, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off the read, Cancer. Don't do it. Don't. There's a message here for someone. However, the Empress is there, right? So they do... Theoretically, they do see you as marriage material, right? Regardless of your gender, you're appearing as that Empress energy. So it's like... They see you as someone that they would settle down with. But then the Ace of Swords in reverse, it's like... They feel like you don't communicate clearly because there, there's something here where communication. Honestly, feel free to switch to energies, but I feel like someone here. Just just looking at the energy, someone here does not express themselves or what they want from this connection. I really feel like it's this person. If I'm being completely honest, I feel like it's this person, you know, this is the read, right, their current feelings. But it's almost like, for some of you, your person is saying that it's you guys. That's not, you know, being clear with what exactly it is that you want out of this connection. The Hermit in reverse and the Magician. I said we could see those cards. We could see the Hermit, we could see the Magician, and we got both of those cards. Um, and then you have that Four of Pentacles, that Page of Pentacles in reverse as well. They feel like sometimes you're, you, it's like they feel like you're very stubborn. I don't know how else to put it. They feel like you're very stubborn. They feel like all you really want is money or all you like is money. All, like all you want to do is work and, and, you know, and it could be right that you guys are focused on building generational wealth, building your stability, right? Buying a home, right? You know, it could be that a lot of you guys grew up in poverty. You grew up with having less than what you knew you deserved. So it's like now you're you're in this place where you're in adulthood and you want to make sure that you are abundant. You want to make sure that you have abundance to leave uh, for your kids, for your future kids, right? So it's like, you know, and just abundance for yourself. You don't want to live. You you don't want to be in that cycle of poverty um, anymore. You already went through that, some of you, right? For others, it's like you're focused on your wealth because you want to pay off student loan debts or you want to pay off medical debts. But it's like this individual, it, it's it's weird, but they seem to think that your primary focus right now is money. They also feel like you're being a little stingy when it comes to your energy. They feel like you don't give them all the attention that they want. Or at times they feel like you're you're distant, you're cold. Time is money. So they feel like you... You know what I get? This person... Okay, this may be triggering to some people, but I'm just going to say it. This is someone that is like, just go with the flow, you know, it, it doesn't matter, like, we're, we're all gonna die anyway, like, the, this is the energy I'm getting from this person for some of you, and it's, it's like, okay, yeah, it's, it's good to have fun every now and then, right, to go out, have a party, right, socialize, eat out, but... If, especially for those of you that have kids or you have debts or you, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you grew up in poverty. Obviously, you are going to be working. 
you, you know, you don't even have to have those things. You could have your house, your apartment, your condo, right? You, you know, that that's not free. You're not getting that stuff for free. I, I don't know. I don't know, like, what this person, it's like this person wants you to just hang out. For some of you, this person, okay, I'm just going to say it. For some of you, this person just wants to, look, some of you, because I'm noticing all the green in this artwork, for some of you, your person is a pothead, I'm just going to say. And they just want you to, like, sit in the house or in the apartment with them, smoke weed all day. For some of you, they just want to, they just want you to sit in the house all day with them, have sex all, like, they don't want to, it's like, they're, they don't, they're not taking anything seriously, is what I'm saying here. Their energy's all over the place, and this is why this read is all over the place, it's all over the place. Their energy is very much scattered. So yeah, they feel like you're way, you know what I get, you're way too professional, that's what they feel. That that's the that's the only way I can put it. Now, for some of you, it's the other way around. For some of you, this person feels like you're unprofessional, like your job, your career. They might not like what you do for work. You might work at a restaurant, okay? Um, and it's like, oh well, you know, you should go be an engineer or something. It, it's stuff like that. Like it's just this is a lot of childish behavior, honestly. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And then the hermit in reverse, like, that's someone that does not, that's someone that's emotionally immature, like, they're, they're just emotionally immature, they're emotionally unaware, um, and they don't want to learn any lessons, they, they don't want to change. You're over here as the empress, though. And the energy is being hijacked here, it's being hijacked, because what spirit is showing me the truth. That you don't, a lot of you, you don't want to communicate or you don't want to deal with this because this person is so all over the place. For some of you, it's like when you, when you were to deal with this person, it's like your money would stop flowing in, your abundance, or you would get random expenses. This person has a poverty mindset, is what I'm saying here. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they feel like you're very much money-driven. And because they, they, because of this ideology they have of you being money-driven, they see you as cold and distant. Or they feel like you're very uptight. Or they feel like you're very prude. Okay, you're not wanting to put out. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the high priestess. They feel like you know too much for your own good as well, some of you. Okay, that's a very specific message. For some of you, this person feels like you know too much for your own good. You're you're too much of a psychic. You know, remember that show, That's So Raven? I feel like somebody here joked, oh, are you that so raven? You know, like some of you, you're per somebody here, their person joked that, oh, are you that so raven? You know, you think you know it all or something? Oh. The Four of Wands and what's underneath? King of Pentacles. So they see you as a match. They see you as their person, but it's like they get irritated with you is what I'm seeing here. Look, I'm going to be honest, Cancer, you and this person are two very different people. You know, there might be some simil similarities on the surface, but deep at the core, you guys are very, very different. Very different from each other. Yeah, you're very intuitive. You know, like, what you need to do to build generational wealth, to leave a legacy behind for yourself. For, you know, your family, your kids, if you plan on having kids, like you, you know what you need to do. You're, you're on a path, you're on a purpose, you have a plan. But what I see here with this person is that they kind of want to take things slow. They want to take things easy. Now, for some of you, like I said, this is someone that just wants to sit around, smoke weed all day, have SEX all day, play video games all day. That's for some of you. That's not for all of you, right? But... For the majority of you, it's just a very 
I'm like, oh, you know, let's not take life so serious, and let's just... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yes, we're saying yes to Eight of Wands. This is a yes card. Spirit saying yes to the stuff that I'm saying here, so these messages are resonating somewhere. Here we have the King of Cups. We also had that Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now we have the Five of Wands. Water with fire energy twice. This is what I was saying, that you guys have like these differences. And because I'm seeing that water and fire energy right there and even earth and air right you know it's like you're very much wanting to be stable but this individual is like aloof they're like up in their head yeah and then it's like you want to take direction but then this person comes in and they may try to make you make you feel guilty that you're pursuing something that you're so focused on your studies your business you know, they, they try to put out your flame. I see here that it's like you guys argue and then it just puts you in this low energy. It puts out your flame. It makes you stressed. This is on a side. The Ace of Swords. Like this individual, it, they're not clear. This individual is not clear. I'm going to be honest, you guys, okay? I know this is uh, their current feelings read. But your person might be under the influence of magic. They might be under the influence of spell work. Or, like I said, for some of you, they're a pothead and they smoke a, a good ton of that good green stuff. It, it's like, they seem aloof, is, is what I get. Um, They could be having a nervous breakdown deep down. They could be going through an ego death as well. Now we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Cups at the bottom. You have a pair. The king, you have the Queen of Pentacles twice, but you have it upright and the bottom underneath these cards. But then now you have it in reverse. No, that's not the Queen of Pentacles. That's the Queen of Cups. Regardless, what I was going to say still stands because you have the King of Cups there. We saw the Queen of Cups twice. We saw the Queen of Cups twice, we saw the Queen of Pentacles twice. We saw the King of Pentacles once, the King of Cups once. Regardless of your gender, this person is like not wanting to meet you halfway. You're showing up twice now. Right? Queen of Cups twice, Queen of Pentacles twice. This person is only showing up as the King of Pentacles once and the King of Cups once. They're not meeting you 100% fully. That's why there's like blockages and that's why this isn't progressing. Yeah, this is hermit energy. And then the two of wands. You're trying to figure out what you wish to do. They feel like... Honestly, I don't even know what to say in regards to what they feel like because they are all over the place. I have to be honest, okay? Don't try to fit this if this is not your story. But if you resonated with any of this, I'm just getting, I'm just going to let you know. This person is all over the place. They are aloof. They could be under the influence of spell work or they could be smoking a lot of weed or they could be having a, like a mental breakdown, a nervous breakdown. Um, but they are all over the place when it comes to you. They see you as their match. They see you as the one. But then it's like not taking any action. Not, not really pushing forward. They have a lot of healing. A lot of healing that they need to do. A lot of healing. What do you see in the future between Cancer and this individual? What do you see in the future, Spirit? Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you guys are... Until you guys see improvement from this individual, you're going to keep your distance. You're going to have firm boundaries. Not saying that this can't happen, 
But right now, what I'm seeing is you guys having firm boundaries with this individual. You want to see growth. You want to see them change for the better. You know what I just heard from spirit? Direction, directionless. Directionless? If that's a word, like this individual really has no direction on where it is they want to go. For some of you, they appear like they have it together, but really they're just lost in the inside. Or they're very unhappy, at the least. Uh, I'm sorry that it was such a, you know, somewhat negative read. I apologize for that. I want these reads to be more positive and uplifting, right? Unicorns and rainbows and sunflowers. You get what I'm saying, but this was not, this just wasn't it. So that's what I have for you. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.